Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a feature review. Um, in this case, I'll be doing this feature review on my Android smartphone, but as far as I know, the feature is also available on Android, or sorry, on iOS devices. Um, so let's say you're running a device that um, does not have, or that has a camera, but obviously it most can do, but does not support portrait mode. So what do you do or how can you get a similar looking effect on your device, whether it's a new phone or even a slightly older phone? So what you're going to do is you're going to install an app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and or the iOS App Store called Snapseed. It's an app made by Google. And what it allows you to do is focus an image that you or a picture that you've taken to give you a similar looking effect. And then you can even take it one step further and um, make the background, let's say, black and white so that whatever you're highlighting um, has that focus and also um, gives you that black and white effect. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a picture that I took um, recently. Um, it does not have a face, so you can apply, basically the, in the end you can apply a portrait mode effect to something that is not necessarily of a person's face. Um, Snapseed does have a tool on a side note for to enhance um, um, faces. So if you want to do that, you can do that, and I'll try and detect faces if there are any. But um, that's neither here nor there. So in this case, I have this picture. I want to enhance the clock a lot more than it is. At the moment, it blends into the picture, but I want it, um, I want to apply a portrait mode style effect. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on tools and you're going to go to lens blur. So what this will do is it's going to apply a fade to the image based on where or and center weighted according to where the blue dot is. So I want to obviously focus on this clock. And there's a tree that's right behind it, so I could um, adjust the transition, make the transition smaller, make the strength a little bit smaller, um, adjust the blur strength. So if you want to um, adjust this, uh, how much of a blur there is, you can do that as well. Um, there is a way to make the... Um, um, blur a little bit smaller as well. I believe just by zooming in, you could do that, but, um, that is actually just gonna, um, um, adjust it accordingly. So if you wanted, I, actually, there you go. That's how you do it. And then, um, after that, you'll have to zoom back out. So it's a little bit tricky to do that. Um, focus so you do have to do a two pick um two finger zoom so once you've done that you'll be able to get that fade so you'll see that it's faded around the clock so i'm going to actually undo that because it's a it's not quite the um, effect i wanted so um basically once you do that you can um adjust it accordingly so and then the transition effect is this outer circle so if you want a, a less blur a bit around based on where your focus is if you want to adjust it for example in my case i want to adjust it based on where this tree is so that way it'll blur um all the extraneous information then it'll do that and then you can also adjust how strong you want the filter to be so if you want just a slight blur you can do that or if you want a hard, heavy blur then you can do that as well so i'm going to leave it right at the uh, midway mark at 50 percent um you can also do a blur strength so if you want a super strong blur like that to make just the tree stand out there's that or if you want a uh just a light blur there's that option so let's say Let's do a blur at about 75% um, there. So now we have a blur that's going on there. So um, obviously the tree stands out a little bit more. So that's kind of giving you that portrait mode style effect. Now let's say you want to add uh, black and whiteness to it a little bit. Then um, you can do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply the effect. And then what you're going to do is instead of doing an undo, you're going to click on view edits um, and you're going to go to black and white. So now when you go here, you can um, up select what area you don't want to apply the filter to. Um, or sorry, actually, I'm going to have to undo that. I always get that backwards for some reason. But um, what you're going to do is whatever, wherever you want to apply the filter, you're going to want to highlight there. So, for example, in this case, um, I don't want to apply the blur to the tree and the clock, so you'll swipe your finger. I'm just going to do a quick um, 
um, selection here, but if you want to get a, a more detailed, then you can, of course, zoom in and um, fine tune your details. So if you want to, for example, apply a black and white or a filter around a person, you can um, zoom in on them and uh, get a more detailed filter. So once you're done, you'll hit the check mark. And now, as um, you can, now the uh, um, edit has been applied. It's the tree standing out with the clock, and the black background has been blurred. So, um, there you go. You've applied yourself a portrait style shot to an existing image. And of course, what you're going to want to export it, so you can either directly share it to other social media, or you can hit save. So you get yourself a copy in your gallery of what you have just done. Um, so there is that. There are other tools as well in the lens blur um, um, ability. So I'll go back to my original image. So I'll click on that. When you go to lens blur, you can also um, adjust. You can also have a different style as far as uh, shape. So let's say you want to do a, a pentagon, octagon, star, uh, heart um, style um, blur. It's not going to really stand out here, but um, that can all. That's also something that can be done. Um, as I mentioned, it's a little tricky for me to do the um, um, zooming in and out part of it. So um, there is. So I know it can be done. It's just a little tricky for me. Um, you could, there is that, and then there's instead of a circular blur, if you want to do a uh, linear blur, then you can do that. If you want to do, um, if it's more like shelving, or if there's a horizontal or even vertical uh, lens kind of portrait mode you want to do. So let's say it's a wall or something that's more linear rather than circular or uh, round shape. So um, if you want to adjust that way as well. So just something to consider there. So um, overall, there is all, there are all those different um, 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 different blurs that you can do. So, and I guess the size of your um, initial shape can be adjusted um, by pinching around a little bit, like you see there. So, if you want to, uh, for example, if in my case, if I want to just, um, if I want to have my main focus as a clock, as you see there, and then I want my transition to um, focus only solely on that tree then I can readjust accordingly so it's only the tree and that can be also applied to uh, face as well. So um, blur has been applied there and then if I want to do the same um, black and white filter and only focus on, um, on the uh, tree then I can start with a simple circle like that and then worry about everything else after that. So uh, once you've done that then there is that. So lens blur achieved and um, black and white has been applied. And of course, that's just a couple of different things you can do. If you don't want to do black and white, you can also do things like uh, turn it into a vintage so shot. So if you want to blur a background and focus on a foreground thing um, like that, like so, or if you want to do something that's more, let's say, uh, noir looking like, like that, then you can do that. So there's a bunch of different things you can do using Snapseed to get that portrait mode style effect. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, want to get in touch with me, then you can find me on Twitter at Patel N01. Subscription links and all of that good stuff can be found on the website at PatelN01.com. And of course, this review and all reviews can be found on YouTube at YouTube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, if you want to get content like this earlier, as soon as it's recorded, um, as well as with the audio version in your podcast client, then be sure be sure to check out and support the show on Patreon at Patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular episode, and or sorry, not episode, but this particular review. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.